Hello, I'm B, and I've decided that I want to start recording in this world that I recently began. So I'm just going to show you what I've done so far. So, what we've got here is a little hobbit hole. It's not my design. Um, I'll put a link in the description of the person who designed this um, and their video. Um, and I've just got, you know, some farms here, basically. Potatoes, carrots, wheat, and then, uh, cow well, they're not cows, they're, they're mushrooms. Or, is that what they're called? Yeah. This is supposed to be for sheep, but I don't have any sheep in here right now, so it's a temporary, uh, tree farm. And, uh, then we've got sugarcane here and my nether, nether portal. And, um, yeah, I decided I wanted to start on a <coughs> mushroom island because, Excuse me. It doesn't spawn mobs, which is really just a nice, convenient way to play. And so I built myself this little house. The interior is my design. Um, so I've just got a little bit of storage rack here that I don't really use. I got my bedroom in here with a little screen, which I really like. Um, and then I've got my storage area. Um, and it's kind of small. I think I'll expand it or make a separate building in the future um, for all my like bulk storage needs. But, you know, for now, it works just fine. I don't have much of it filled up, even. Um, <clears throat> I've been really lucky with diamonds so far. I have six extras, as well as a diamond pick. Where is it? There it is. And um, I need to make a... I think my next step is to make a enchanting table, because I recently got done with... <laughs> A skeleton farm I dug into basically a cave um, and it contained a ske uh, skeleton spawner a dungeon and I made a farm out of it so as you can see we've got these bubble elevators that go right down to it and uh, here they are uh, yeah there's a lot of them right now I I might actually be in within distance to spawn them down in my house. Um, I'm not sure. So they're here. Um, yep, yeah, they're you know getting you know bones and stuff, and it's not a pretty area. So I probably will at some point make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Um, but for now, it's fine. It's useful. And I'm going to put like maybe a tower up here or something to um, encase this little bubble elevator area. And I want to also put um, a little staircase here to get up to it more conveniently. The other thing that I want to work on is over here, actually. <clears throat> Sorry, I just ate some mango and whenever I eat sweet things, like it kind of clogs my throat up. I don't know. Um, anyway, there's these guys in here. There's one in the bed, as you can see, and one on top of a composter. And, um, <clears throat> I want to build a little villager trading hall. I have a design in mind by Logical Geek Boy, his simple villager trading hall or something like that. Um, and so I want to do that. I'm not sure where I'll put it, but I did save these two from a nearby village. And uh, yeah, that's kind of what I've got so far, and I'm looking forward to continuing in this world and showing you what I'm doing. So, bye for now. Hello, so I'm back here, and I just wanted to show you what I've been up to today. Uh, so I have made this nice little staircase, and you might guess that it goes up to my little skeleton spawner area here. I made a nice little path that matches the one from down there, and um, I need to detail around the edges a little bit, but I'm, I'm kind of waiting to see what kind of structure I'm going to build here to encase this, and I've done a little bit of work down here as well. It, to decorate the inside of this area. Oh, kind of missed out on a log right here. I need to put a log right there. But uh, yeah, I got the matching style and colors from my um, 
little hobbit hole down there and it's got the you know red terracotta and the stripped spruce wood and I made a little oh miss out on something right here too hang on give me, give me that right there um it's got a nice little curved down ceiling here to kind of make this feel a little bit more enclosed um, because otherwise it would just kind of be like a whole nother room there I didn't want to have just two of these little units um, so I made a nice curved down ceiling um, to put my little enchanting table in I had the diamonds already and I just had to go mine some obsidian down in my mine um, and I've got you know some lapis that I've mined up and I've got 35 levels right now so I could enchant something um, I've already got all my armor enchanted I've got my silk touch pickaxe which was the first enchantment actually which was really lucky and then I've got my efficiency and unbreaking axe I need to name these at some point, but I'm going to wait until I get mending, um, which is maybe the thing that I'm going to work on next. Um, although I also need a spider farm for weakness potions, you know, but that can wait until after I've got the villagers, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I've got, oops, that's not my sword. got my skeletons down here. Just kill them all up. And uh, I've got two hoppers underneath these slabs, and they suck up all of the items and the XP comes to me, and the items go down here, where I made a little storage area. This is actually a sorting system that Impulse SV displayed in one of his videos, um, maybe a couple years back, actually, but it still works. Um, you could find it easily by searching up uh, Minecraft Item Sorter or Minecraft Item Sorter Impulse SV or something like that. And um, as you can see, I've got two chests for bones because. There are so many bones coming in that otherwise they wouldn't come down into this hopper here. They would go all the way around here and end up in my uh, non-stackable items chests for my bows and armor. And so I had to put an extra chest here just to catch the overflow ones that will come down. And I've got my arrows as well. And uh, yeah, these are really useful for growing uh, trees and stuff and crops and whatnot. And I'm really glad that I found this spawner so quickly because um, it's a great early source of XP as well it's it's not even it's pretty quick you know it's just one spawner but it's not even that bad um, but yeah that's the wrong door that's uh, that's what I've been working on uh, today recently uh, I've just you know since the last time I talked to you I've just been uh, you know breeding on my cows working on some farms and decorating this little area here and, uh, yeah, that's what I've been up to. So, um, yeah, I, I thank you for watching. See you uh, in the next clip or video or whatever. Bye. So, I realized we need beds for the villagers. So, what I did is I went out and I got two sheep, finally. Didn't take me too, too long, but... Yeah, I got two sheep and they are in here, happy and healthy, and I also got myself a grass block with my silk touch pickaxe. And I, as you can see, I also found a bee nest. And I got the uh, advancement for total bee location because it happened to have three bees in it. And I kind of tempted them with some flowers to come and uh, pollinate their butts and get themselves all up in that bee nest and I picked it up with my silk touch pickaxe and I have it now so if we ever need any bee stuff I got it um, and yeah so I just need to kind of put this down and oh that's a nice color and yeah eventually I'll put dirt around it and it will spread to the dirt and we'll have to relocate our tree farm elsewhere oh, as you can see, a little while ago, I went and raided some shipwrecks and found some moss, so we got that all set up. And uh, and yeah, so I've got my sheeps here, I got my bee nest, I got some flowers as well, and uh, yeah, we are doing pretty good. Uh, I just need to set up some beds for the villagers, get them breeding, get myself a mending guy, put mending on my nice diamond here. So. I will get to that and I'll see you next time.
Okay, so I built a little pen for my villagers over here. And um, my plan is, I have some carrots. My plan is to give them the carrots and I put some beds in there so that I'll be able to breed. And uh, I'm hoping the baby will run out of this little uh, hole here and I'll be able to chase him down and put him in a boat. And then I can uh, make a lectern for him when he grows up and make him a mending librarian. Uh, because I really do need mending before these things get too low on durability. Uh, so that's my plan. Um, let's get in there and give these guys some carrots. How about that? Do you want those? Yeah. Those are tasty, huh? Okay. Are you going to go and breed? Do you want some more carrots? I can give you some more. Do you want those? Go ahead. Go on then. Yeah? Okay, okay. There we go. Yes. Make baby for me. Come on. Did you? Oh, there he is. I see him. He's in your body. Okay. He's going to run out here, maybe. Yes. Okay. Maybe he's going to come out. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the same clothes as they do, but that's, that's okay. We'll have a variety of two different options. Okay. No. You're going to come over here? No. Okay. No, you're going back in there. All right. Come on out. Okay. Come. There we go. No, there. Maybe there. Go on in. No? Okay. This is the frustrating part. Um, he wants to be in the house. He's going to go jump on the beds or something. Okay. I'm going to put a fence down so he can't get back out. Back in, I mean. Okay. There we go. That's perfect. Um, now I need to get him over there somehow. So maybe I'll dig a little pathway that we can boat him down. Um, well, I guess I don't really need to get him over there. I just need to get him into a safe location. Um, well, it, it doesn't even need to be safe because this is a Mushroom Island, you know? Um, so I just need to put him somewhere other than over there so that they can still see that they are, uh, you know, have three beds that they can still breed. So I'm just gonna boat him around. You okay? You didn't, you didn't hurt or anything? Okay. You're just you're just honking. Um, I'm gonna put him over here somewhere. Build a nice little area for him. Um, maybe even inside of here would be nice. So um, I will come back when I have done that. Be right back. Okay, so I made a nice little area for him here. It's it's pretty ugly, but I can get in and he can't get out. And I've uh, gave him a little bed. He's sleeping because it's nighttime. And I gave him a lectern and a little chest for whatever I need for trading or whatever he gives me. Um, and when he grows up, I'm going to uh, see what his trades are and replace the lectern as many times as I need to. Uh, for him to be a perfect mending librarian for me and uh so that's that's that done uh almost um yeah i'll i'll come back again when uh when he's all grown up yeah okay so he's all grown up now and um i traded with him well i yeah i traded with him because the second the second trade that he offered me after replacing his lectern just one time was mending for 38 emeralds and that's not it's a little bit pricey but it's not too bad and uh, if I get him zombified and cured up if we can get that down even further so I traded with him to get him locked in and uh, I'll do a bit more let's see I have 33 emeralds right now um, yeah he's gonna need a bit more paper uh, and I think that I have plenty of sugar cane in here yep so we can turn all of this into paper if we have a crafting bench somewhere. There we go. All of that goes into paper and we can probably get our 38 emeralds right now. I can put mending on one of my, oops, this is a really inconvenient carpet. 
yeah, there we go. We've got 35 now, 37, 39 even, 41. Wow, he's, he just keeps going, huh? Okay, cool. <clears throat> got 44 ammo, and he's an apprentice now. He's got multi-shot. That's not really, don't really care about that. And he's discounted too, so he's got mending now for 35 emeralds. And I'll just grab that book from you. And uh, yeah, we, uh, I wonder if I have any name tags. I don't think I've found, well, maybe, we'll see, because it would be nice to name him something nice. Like, uh, I'm really partial to uh, Benny, personally, but we can name him something else. Yeah, no name tags. Um, yeah, haven't found one yet. Um, once we get, is it librarians that sell name tags or is it cartographers? One of them sells name tags. So once we get him all, you know, all of his trades unlocked, he might sell his name tags and we can buy one of those and name him uh, something fun. Um, but yeah, that's, I got my mending and that'll go on one of these. Probably the pickaxe um, because I do you know, need to go mining pretty soon, and that would be helpful. Um, I've got a lot of wood, used a bunch of iron axes to get a bunch of wood, so I'm out of iron pretty much. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's what we got for now. That's, uh, that's, yeah, yep. <laughs> See ya.